West Sussex County Council's project to build a new college for Woodlands Mead pupils has reached a major milestone. The roof and concrete structure of the new college building is now complete and to celebrate, a topping out ceremony was held at Woodlands Mead on February the 22nd. It's a great joy to be here today to celebrate the topping out of this building. Uh, as we've just heard, there are a number of milestones uh, for the contractors. However, there are a lot of milestones also for the college, the college governors, and also for West Sussex County Council. This is marvellous to me, uh, to be able to stand here today, uh, to see this coming to fruition, all those plans, and we very much look forward uh, to completion later this year, when I hope it'll be a sunny day. Whilst it's drab and overcast today, this is a sunny day for me to see this building this far advanced. We have a series of milestones through the, through the lot of projects. I think you had the ground vacant earlier when we had a greenfield here and now we've moved on. This is sort of the interim one, this is the topping out and it's to mark the highest point of the building. Next one will be uh, practical completion where we hand you over a finished job and uh, you can actually put the school to operation which is ultimately what we're all aiming for. As, as Trevor mentioned the groundbreaking which happened uh, last year, I just can't believe how quickly it's happened it, and it's having it in our back backyard as it were has been incredible to see it develop over time. It's going to make such a huge difference to our pupils to have the provision that will enable them uh, to succeed and flourish in their life. So a huge, huge thank you. West Sussex uh, has a considerable uh, capital programme for our schools. Uh, it totals at the moment we've got nearly £200 million to be spent over the next five years. This is the one that I became involved with back in 2019, together with Paul Marshall, our leader. And he is the driving force for getting the monies, the funds available for this project. And I must thank him. Three students were given a tour and were able to ask some questions about the new facilities. So the lights are controlled by a number of different ways. So there's light switches, so you can turn them on and off. But there's also sensors in all of the rooms that when the rooms don't have people in them, the rooms will know and the rooms will then automatically turn off. The new college will be fully completed and ready for pupils to start enjoying from this September. Yay!